One of the things that I wanted to bring into the class was actually the whole idea of decision making. I thought it was extremely important for kids to realize why they were doing things. Bringing other things into class apart from just the objective, it's helped them to think and grow, which is one of the very, very essential parts of my vision for them to be critical thinkers. If today I'm studying compare and contrast between Renaissance art and Impressionism, sure they're learning how to compare and contrast and read and all of that, but they're also learning a lot about art in itself. They're learning a lot about, you know, just thinking. I think it's safe to assume that more than 85% of all our students come from like single room spaces uh, with a family of easily a, 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 at least four or more than four. The priorities in that community is very different from what priorities we want from our students. In fact, it's very contrasting and often it becomes this that the messages we give our students, they get kind of opposite messages at home. I don't want to give my students an education. I want them to be learners. The idea of their having an excellent education is possible only if there's a committed teacher there. I don't want it to be limited by that idea. I want them to have a learning irrespective of whether the teacher is there. So throughout my two years, having this vision that, you know, how do I push that independence? How do I make them independent learners? Every, the subject which I teach math, I've only used it as a tool to drive this vision. Like how can I use this as a subject, the subject as a tool to make sure that my students are able to correct their own mistakes. They're able to understand that making mistakes is fine because if they are aware of it, it's actually a learning experience. It's how you decide to look at your mistake.